the reason those heuristic traps are so dangerous is that in most of life, they're really good indicators about what's dangerous and what's safe. The problem in avalanche terrain is although these facets, these heuristic traps, have a profound effect on how we perceive danger, they have nothing to do with the avalanche. So what the avalanche cares about is how heavy I am and whether I ski over the trigger point. The avalanche doesn't care how many times I've skied this slope. It doesn't care that I'm worried about what my friends will think. It doesn't care that I'm competing with another group for first tracks. And the fact that it doesn't match up, that the way I perceive the danger as shaped by these heuristic traps, the fact that that doesn't line up with what the avalanche cares about and what triggers the avalanche, that's what makes these so dangerous. So there's a number of tools you can use. The one I like is, is Alp Truth. And that uh, is simply seven clues that you look for. They're not very complicated. A stands for, it's another acronym, A stands for avalanches in the last 48 hours. L is loading by wind or new snow. P stands for an obvious avalanche path, something with trim lines. Um, ALP, T stands for uh, terrain trap, things like trees, cliffs, gullies in the runout. R stands for rating. If the avalanche danger rating is considerable or higher, that's a, that's a flag. U stands for unstable signs. That's collapsing, cracking, uh, hollow sounds, difficult trail breaking. And TH stands for thaw. In other words, rapid warming in the snowpack. Now, Alp Truth is basically uh, an avalanche course in seven words. But that's really all you need to know. So. I know from my research that if I see three or more of those things, then I'm starting to get into a zone where I'm getting far from shore. I'm starting to take risks. And maybe I've got those risks mitigated. But the important thing is if I'm caught in an avalanche and I have four or five of those things present, I'm going to look pretty dumb. So it's a good, it's a good way for me to get a sense of, well, how far am I away from where I want to be? So that's number two. Number one was knowing my weaknesses. Number two was knowing how far I am from shore. And number three is treating every day like it's a new day. Every run down a slope, even though I've done the slope dozens of times, it's a brand new run. It's a brand new slope. And starting out at the